that two kilometers gap from the control room to our master bridge location, we're using fiber optic cable. Hi tech lovers, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Now imagine trying to get high speed internet to an oil rig that's 10 kilometers away out at the sea. Running cable across ocean floor, not only costly, but nearly impossible. And there's more, we have to take care of the power and data problems. So that's exactly the challenges our client faced. And today, we're going to show you how we solved it without a single wire crossing the sea. So the solution we chose is using wireless bridges. A wireless bridge is like a long distance Wi-Fi link between two points. Instead of connecting your phone or laptop, you're connecting the entire networks. So think of it as replacing a cable with a focused wireless beam. It's perfect when you need to link two sites but cannot run physical cables between them. Exactly. And when choosing a wireless bridge for a marine environment like this, durability is key. Salt water, high winds, and temperature changes can destroy your equipment. So that's why we picked an industrial-grade outdoor wireless bridge designed to resist corrosion with ruggedized casing and a parabolic antenna that stays locked onto the target, even when the conditions get rough. These bridges work in pair, one acts as the master and the other as client, and they talk directly to each other, forming what's called a point-to-point -point connection. And clear line of sights between both bridges is critical. If there's any obstruction, trees, ships, or even waves on the horizon, your signal weakens dramatically. So placement and alignment matter more than anything. So without saying, let's connect our wireless bridges. We begin our setup with the client bridge first. It's mounted on the pole of the oil rig, aimed directly at our massive bridge back on shore. Again, alignment and clear line of sights are crucial. You can log into our wireless bridge UI to fine-tune the alignment. It will be more precise. And there are two power options for our wireless bridge, PoE and DC 12V. Since we do have power supply on the oil rig, so we are powering it with an outdoor PoE switch. The AC goes into the outdoor PoE switch and PoE out to our wireless bridge and also fits a network camera, perfect for testing and monitoring. First, I'm going to plug in our Ethernet cable, one for the wireless bridge and another for our bullet camera. Connect it directly to our wireless bridge PoE port. So one cable carrying both power and data and to our bullet camera as well. So now you can see it's getting the power and data. And with the latest Wi-Fi 7 technology, our wireless bridges delivers multi-gigabit wireless speed and incredible stability, even in high interference environment. And the great parabolic antennas focuses the signal like a laser, ensuring that our 10 kilometers connection stays strong. And it's designed specifically for outdoor use. And what we love most, it includes a 2.5G SFP slot for fiber connections, which brings us to our next part. So here comes our biggest challenge. The master bridge needs to be positioned right at the shoreline for a perfect line of sight to the oil rig. But the control room is two kilometers inland. So how do we get data from our control room to the master bridge without losing speed? Now remember the 2.5G SFP slot? To bridge that 2 km gap from the control room to our master bridge location, we're using fiber optic cable. Fiber is perfect for this. It's immune to electromagnetic interference, handles long distances without signal loss, and offers ultra-fast throughput. So let's get our hands on. So here's our time saver. Pre-made fiber optic cable. No need for on-site splicing, just plug and go. It makes the installation faster and cleaner, especially in harsh environment like this. 
Let's put it on our demo board. We're going to connect it to our fiber manage switch using this 2.5G SFP transceiver to convert the signal between electrical and optical. And this makes the connection seamless. Just slide it into the SFP slot until you hear a click. We're using this two string fiber optic cable. Let's use string A. And the LC connector is a space saver. Now we're going to connect our fiber switch to our network video recorder using a short patch cord. But how? Here comes our fiber to copper transceiver. Just slide it into the SFP slot. Now we create an Ethernet port. Easy. Coming over here to our master bridge. We are connecting the fiber optic cable to the 2.5G SFP slot. But make sure you match your transceiver. That's why we're using the 2.5G SFP transceiver over here. Let's slide it into the SFP slot. Remember, we used string A. Let's connect it. So now we took care of the data. But what about power? There's no grid power available out here. That's why our outdoor PUE injector comes in. We're going to pull AC power from the control room along with the fiber. Now let's mount this outdoor PUE injector on our demo board first. Right. So our outdoor PUE injector takes the AC input and convert it to DC and send both power and data through one single Ethernet cable. Let's plug it in and straight to our master bridge PUE port. Let's connect it. It's simple, weatherproof and reliable. And that completes our shore side setup. A quick recap for our setup, we have the outdoor PUE switch at the oil rig to power our client bridge and the bullet camera. And at the master bridge, we have the outdoor PUE injector for power and fiber optic cable for data that's two kilometers away from our control room. And now I'm waving my hand here. You can see the video stream here. That's the proof for our wireless link is up and running. And configuration is straightforward. Each bridge has a built-in web interface. You just set one as master or SS point and the other as client. Make sure the channels and frequencies match and you're good to go. And our Wi-Fi 7 bridge can achieve up to 2.3 gigabit per second under ideal conditions. But real-world performance will depend on distance, weather, and signal alignment. But even at 10 kilometers, you can still expect excellent throughput for cameras, sensors, and control systems. One last thing before our wrap-up. Always use a surge protector to safeguard your gear from lightning and power spikes, especially in marine or high exposure installation. We have a dedicated video on how to install surge protectors, so you can check it out after this one. And that's how we built a 10 km wireless bridge between land and sea, fast, reliable, and built to withstand the element. Thank you very much for joining us. If you enjoyed this setup and want to learn more about our gear, you can hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next installation.